chances are you've seen these sort of videos around. In fact, chances are you clicked on this expecting sweater weather playing in the rain, but the titles of these videos are so long and oddly specific that you couldn't even see where I typed a video essay. And now you're like, why is this idiot talking? I want sweater weather aesthetic car video at night, for lack of better terminology. And if you haven't clicked away by now, then it's time to pose a question. Why are these videos so popular? Well, there's two reasons and both of them are sort of interesting. Everyone seems to love lo-fi and all of the genres that fall under it. It gained popularity on SoundCloud and eventually YouTube over the past decade. And in the process, if you were to track its influence, a lot of established musicians took note of this trendy mixture of genres and started adopting it into their own music. Eventually, musicians who actually originated from this scene began hitting the mainstream and thus the analog sound that dominated a lot of SoundCloud in the past was now present in a lot of pop music. The reason why this is so interesting is because while lo-fi could be defined as a genre, depending on what your idea of a genre in music is, it's really just a term used to describe the recording quality of the music you're hearing. Low fidelity. So, what does this have to do with anything? Well, simply put, as a result of popular musicians adopting this sound, a large audience began to favour lo-fi music. Not necessarily the composition of these songs, although that too certainly gained a following, but rather the imperfect analogue quality that surrounds it. Audiences who once wanted clean vocals and perfectly mixed synths and guitars now enjoyed poor quality drum samples run through tape emulation and ridiculous amounts of compression. People began to be attracted to the extra layer of physicality in this music. Something as simple as adding the crackling sound of vinyl or the warm saturation of old tape could add an entirely new meaning to this music. But basically taking this back, this all means that there is now an existing audience for this type of stuff. Without an existing audience, nothing can really take off quickly. But then that brings us to the second part of its popularity, which technically ties in with this aspect, but why not break it into two? That sounds better. And that is the actual scenarios. Well, the source music for a lot of these videos aren't lo-fi in any sense. The soundscape created in these videos uses the same approach which lo-fi took. Let me explain. Almost every song has a particular vibe or emotion or a mixture of them, or a progression between them, and that's great. That's why you play particular types of music in particular scenarios, to match the mood, or play into the scenario that you're in. This is actually a super important aspect of listening to a song. The places and people you're surrounded by influence the way you take in the things you're hearing, which is why some people enjoy particular types of music at certain times, and other times they'll think it's awful, and why some music depending on when you listen to it, you may or may not actually like. It wouldn't be a cliche video essay if I didn't quote someone, so let's quote Edgar Allan Poe, who once put it like this. Music, when combined with an idea, is poetry. Music without an idea is just music. Which is sort of funny, because the reason why I found that quote was because it played at the start of an Alan Parsons album from the 70s. Anyway, what if you could not only use the emotional power of a song, but also give the audience an existing scenario that plays into it. You present the entire situation to the audience without any need for the audience actually imagining their own situation or particular emotion or feeling. And thus, Joji in the bathroom at 1am became the trend. The music combined with the imaginary scenario massively elevates the emotional impact of what you're hearing. In fact, it could even be claimed that there is a third element to the emotional impact of these videos, and that's the actual scenario you find yourself in while watching these. Watching this at 11pm in your room is quite a bit different than 7am on your way to work. But the point is, these videos offer something which people want that they'd probably never really realised that they wanted. A mood setting mixture of song and accompanying scenario. Maybe because the music isn't powerful enough on its own, or maybe people are just getting lazy and need to be fed a scenario. <laughs> I don't know. 